Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And the topic for this week is about the new cool fuzzy fill in the Floriani software. And if you don't have uh, the latest version of the program, you should download it and install it. Um, one of the things you'll receive are some cool new Academy letters in, with the featuring the fuzzy fill on the inside. And I put on my Letterman jacket to show you guys um, how cool it is. And so I thought um, I would show you how it is that I made mine kind of like interlocking like this. I know my camera makes it read backwards, but it's for TC Trevor Conquer Good. And so what we're going to do is um, pop onto the software. And uh, before we make this, I do want to say if you don't have the update, you might want to just use the help drop down menu. And you can first of all choose about to find out what version you're currently using. It'll tell you right there. And um, then you can go to help and then choose check for updates. And that will take you to our website, the RNK Software Club website, uh, and directly to the page where you could click to download the program, the latest version. It'll tell you here, uh, you know, what the latest build is and when it was released. Um, and so once you get that, um, I'm also going to point out that if you click on the home button at the top of the website, and you visit the uh, area for the Floriani Total Control Software, um, this is where <clears throat> you'll find a few new things. First of all, um, the click here for what's new. And when you go to that page, you'll find that there are videos that describe the new Fuzzy Fill. Uh, there's also a video showing uh, how to use the cool new Academy letters that come with the update. Uh, there's also a video showing you how to use the new asset uh, sort of area of the website and how to download and install all of the extras that come with the update. And there is a new drawing tool and we'll talk about that one perhaps another day. Uh, but for today, it's going to be all about these kind of how did I make my interlocking fuzzy fill letters right from scratch? And so let's go ahead and pop onto the Floriani software. And uh, once you've updated your software and installed all your goodies uh, in your library, you'll find a new folder that says fonts. And there's one for Academy fuzzy fill letters. And there's another one with the added puffy foam outline. And um, basically now you can scroll through you know, and see all of the different letters that are, these are already made and ready to be stitched, you know, but notice that the letter C that I brought in, it starts out with the fuzzy fill. And the, so that was used to create the C. And then we created an outline around the letter C and that was uh, extra density was added to make it suitable for sewing over puffy foam. And finally, there's this run stitch that stitches around the outside. And that run stitch becomes kind of the line that you use to cut the letter out. So once you watch the video showing the construction method, you'll understand that we stitched this all onto kind of like a base that I made my base out of the um, Deco Magic and fused that together with the glitter uh, heat transfer final and stitched everything onto it and then cut it out at the end. And then I actually used our new Press and Bond Ultra to iron it onto the jacket. And so what I thought I would show you guys today was how to create them kind of interlocking like mine are here. And in that case, you can decide how much they interlock. I kind of made them just barely touch each other, uh, but it's really kind of fun the way that the software allows you to do that. So let's pop in. Um, the letters that I'm working with today, I just found in the custom shape library uh, where there is an option for easy art. You know, if you pop the little selection here, it comes with custom shapes and easy art. Uh, anything else would be something that I would have added to the software myself on my version. But um, this is where I got the artwork for the letters. And so once you bring them in, I guess the first thing you're going to want to do is decide how big do you want this to be. And of course, that's optional. You can uh, do them independently of each other if you want one letter bigger than the other letter. Uh, or you can select them together. And um, when you select things, they get a box around them. And you can use that box to easily resize them. And so if the goal was not to have them different sizes, and I've kind of messed it all up, you, of course, always have the undo button to kind of go back and there's unlimited undos 
as many as need be. And so um, if you want to make them fully interlocking, then you might overlap them like this. And right now it's still kind of like there's a C and a T. And if I was to use the stitching, the fuzzy fill, it would do all of the T and, and then all of the C. Uh, if you want these to be merged into one, that's where you would select both and then you would need to use an artwork shaping tool. And so those are found here in your green tools over at the top. Um, right here it says uh, trim, but if I click the button beside it, there's trim and there's weld and there's intersect, exclude and divide. Well, the one we want to use today is weld. Weld will join the T and the C into one. And notice over in my artwork now that um, I'd have now one segment that is both the T and the C. And if I just hit undo, notice that before I had two, one for the C and one for the T. And once I undo, they're completely interactable and I could you know, decide how they connect together and where. Uh, but once I kind of join them, then they kind of become one. And so if I select all that and I do the weld once again over here, now it joins the two together. And at this point, you know, you can basically decide how big or how small do you want your embroidery to be. It's convenient. It tells me right here how many millimeters it is. And of course, you would probably rather have that in inches. And so just right click on your ruler and change it to inches. And it says it's five inches tall. And if that seems a little bit big for your letter, make it kind of whatever size, you know, that you want it to be. Now, once you have your size set, um, we have... Uh, the fuzzy fill would be the next step. And that's down here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on it to get it started. Um, and I'm going to be patient because I know that it takes time for the program to generate the stitches of the fuzzy fill. Um, and I will say that the default setting is uh, one that makes a very complete fuzzy fill. In other words, it has lots of density. And so it takes a while to make all the stitches. Um, I've seen wonderful, wonderful examples of people uh, making designs now using the fuzzy fill just through social media, and I was so happy to see those. Um, great job to everybody who you know did something like that and tried it out. Anyway, as you can see, it takes time, uh, partly because you know this is a fairly large area. Uh, the larger the area, longer it's going to take. And number two, it's a little bit of a complex area. You know, because it has to figure out how to go all the way around the T and all the way around the C, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, okay, you can see now that it's done. I've created a cool fuzzy fill background. Um, but remember, my academy letters have like the border around the outside. So how do you do that? Well, that's real simple. Now that we've made our shape, all we really need to do is select it, use the copy and the paste. And so we now have two copies of the same shape. Um, but we're for the second copy, we're going to use a, a steel stitch. So I'll click on the steel outline. That puts a nice kind of smooth border around the outside. You can decide how wide they're going to be. Um, but I made mine on my jacket a little bit wider. So we could try maybe three or four. Um, you know, to, and that helps to give a nice bold outline to it. Yeah. So at this point, um, if you wanted to do it, uh, in two colors, you would select it and then come to your color palette and choose a new color for the sort of border. And that'll cause your machine to stop. So really, we've got kind of the two color uh, lettering effect. And if you were going to stitch it directly onto the jacket, that's really maybe all you would need. Uh, but if you want to do the kind of cutout and then the iron on with the glitter, that's where you need this one last border. And so to make that one last border, once again, I'm going to select, um, you know, either one of these shapes. Uh, but what I need to do is use another tool. It's here, create outlines. And when I click on create outlines, the option is how many do I want? They're called ripples. And I'm just going to say I want one ripple at 0.118 of an inch. Um, and of course, if I was working in metric, that would probably say something like three millimeters. Uh, but I'll say, okay. And so it's added a line around the outside. Now, um, if I'm like, yeah, no, it's too close, I'm going to undo. 
and um, select again. Now, there's uh, two options that can make an outline, and one is your create outlines. The other one is called the contour. Uh, the interesting thing with the contour is it gives me the ability to control the kind of corners. So do you want them pointy or beveled or rounded? So once again, you can kind of decide how far it was. And I felt like the point one wasn't enough. So we're going to try, you know, maybe point two of an inch around and say, okay. And so now I can see it. It's got that extra distance. That's where you're going to see that, you know, glitter. Um, I'll probably select that and convert that into a run stitch. Um, and then I would probably click on a new color so that I knew that there was three color stops in the design. And really that's what I did to make my own kind of cool custom interlocking fuzzy fill TC letters to go on the front of my uh, Letterman jacket. And of course you'll need to watch the video if you want to uh, create them on top of the glitter foil. But I hope you're enjoying uh, the new update from the Floriani software with the fuzzy fill. Um, until next week, thanks so much for watching and bye for now.